Today's the day, Rosh Hashanah. The Jewish New Year begins tonight at sundown. It's a time for families to celebrate with one another and wish for something different in the coming year. And that goes for the meal. Here to show us a modern take on a kosher meal is Chef David Kalotkin, executive chef at Prime Hospitality Group, which oversees the Prime Grill, the Prime Bentley, and Prime Co. Good morning. Thank you morning. for coming in. How are you? Tell us a little bit about what you're making today. We are, we're, we want to bring in the Jewish New Year. We want to make it a sweet, happy, and healthy one. So we tend to, to use a lot of sweet foods. So we're going to do a, um, a pan roasted duck breast, Long Island duck breast, okay. um, with quinoa cakes, mm. with a, a cranberry fruit relish, and a pomegranate reduction. Gee, I can't spell half of that. I know. <laughs> so you want me to start mixing up the dry ingredients first? What yes, are we mixing uh, first? You can take some all-purpose flour. Okay. And some, You've measured this for me. I did this actually oh, yesterday man. before. You are proud. It was my birthday yesterday, by the way. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. What Thank are you, 22 now? I'm 40. Oh, oh, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a good it's a big time. one. Thank Happy you. birthday and Happy New Year, then. Baking yes. powder. Baking powder. Okay. okay. Um, you're going to... You mix know, it up. A little salt to make it taste like go something. Go ahead. Okay. You're the master of that. There okay. you go. Mix it dry. And now we have some soy milk because in, uh, in the kosher uh, uh, style, of, of in, in kosher eating, you don't mix meat and dairy. Right. So we're using soy milk. So um, you're going to mix that together. Don't overwork it. But, uh, really? But you're doing okay. I do tend to overwork things. Let's add an egg in there, too. <laughs> there you go. And is this, this is what we're dipping... We're going to make a batter the here. Batter. We have okay. some, some pre-cooked quinoa. Oh. Actually, this recipe is in the cookbook that's coming out. Um, we wrote a book this year. Good for oh, you. Uh, yeah, nice. the Primal Cookbook. Turned 40, he said, I'm going to write a book. It's it doing was it time. That's right. That's right. Time, you know, four decades, uh, yeah. it's time to write a book. So, so this recipe is actually in that book, uh, which will be out this month. A quinoa can go inside. Why quinoa cakes? Because I wanted to twist it up. And, you know, we're at a time where people tend to eat healthy. So and, quinoa. you know, they're always watching their waist. And I love quinoa. And, I think it's you know, a it's great got a really idea. nutty flavor that goes well with the duck. Mm -hmm. It's and, good for you, too, right? And, you know, sweet goes well with duck, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why we put this together. Can I ask kind of an astute, I mean, what, what makes quinoa kosher? Well, it comes from the ground. It's natural. So it's so, kosher. So God put it here for a reason. As okay. long as it's clean... We could use it. Okay. And Got this it. has been rinsed and, and cleaned and all that stuff. We have a kosher supervisor. We call him the Mishkiach. And he oversees all this stuff. He actually even cracked the egg. Really? Yes. I'm not allowed to crack the egg, even though I know what to look for. I didn't but know that. They check for blood spots and to make sure it's all kosher and clean. See? Okay. And healthy. So, well, yes. Goyim here asking all the I know, hard all. questions. I know. It's, it's great. Okay. So how's that looking? That looks okay, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good. And you know what? I have the duck breast right here. Okay. okay. If I may. Yes. And uh, I'm going to score this right here. Just this kind of helps to render out the fat. You know, duck is very fatty, mm -hmm. but if you cook it properly, um, you could get this nice and crispy and get rid of all that fat. We're going to season it with a touch of kosher salt, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, both sides. Yes. And we're going to put this in a dry pan because there's so much fat in this duck that it's going to render itself out. You don't, you don't need to add anything, anything additional. Okay. Exactly. And this takes about six to seven minutes. You cook it slow and, and the fat slowly comes out and you degrease the pan as you go. And uh, actually duck does not have to be a fatty dish if it's cooked properly. I did not know that. Well, today you're going to have some See? of Okay. Not too fatty. This guy needs to That's write a book. <laughs> okay. You're on to something there. Put some oil in the pan here. Okay. Oil in the pan. All of it? Just to... Uh, let's Abyssal, there you go. There you go. So that's too much, but it's okay. Uh, there goes the healthy approach. Way to go. Be nice and Way to go. What happened to the healthy approach? Come Here, on. watch this. I'll take some of it. Oh, Don't burn yourself. Watch the burn no. the oil together. All right. Yeah, get that. We're all set. Okay. And you know what? Would you like me to do this? Or you you better do it. I've already yeah, cleared it. You're already destroyed. messing things up here. So they so. have a little on the plate. Just a spoonful is all you need? Uh, just about a spoonful, yeah. Nice. And these hot plates don't, you know, I was playing with them before. They're not the best here. They're yeah. not the best. Right, right, right. But there is right. a little a little action going on here. Right. Um, but, you know, for the power and motion of TV, I have some pre-made. Right, right, Look at right, that. right. Look at that. Now, what about the sweet fruit relish? I understand that plays an important role as well. Exactly. This is uh, cranberries and apples, mm -hmm. which we just um, bring down with um, with a touch of cinnamon mm. and some, uh, some orange juice and sugar. Do okay. I put that on this? What, uh, how do we? Are we ready to do this? Let's sure, do this. Sure. Okay. So I'm always ready. Let me hold this plate here. I got it. What I like to do, we, this is actually on the menu at the restaurant, at the Prime Grill, 25 West 56th Street, between 5th and 6th Avenue. We make kind of like a Napoleon mm -hmm. these oh. cookcakes. Got right there. Like so. We'll Ooh, do one more just for some, Look at that. some height presentation. Gonna need a napkin. <laughs> there you go. And we have some. Uh, some braised uh, kale, some purple kale here. Nestle some of that there. And we'll slice this right here. 
You know, you're hitting on a lot of like uh, hot button, like quinoa, kale. Yeah. This is all very healthy. You're like hip. I'm trying to be hip. Not as hip as, as Beyonce. No, no, no. We, no. we almost share a birthday, I just found out, actually. Look at this. Look at this. How are customers mine. responding to kind of this new take on kosher dining? They love it. And they love it so much that I don't even get a day off pretty much. Ah, yeah. oh, we that's have um, pause, though. We have some of this reduction here. Drizzle that on the plate. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. This is beautiful. just pomegranate, port wine, and some star anise. And we have a grilled Perfect. scallion, which we did. Just to dress just, it up. Yeah, just to make it happen. Well, thank you so much. And all the best with the book. I'm very happy. Thank you yeah. so much. I hope you buy it. And Happy New Year as well. <laughs> yes, Happy thank New Year David to you. David Kalotkin thank you so much. Prime Hospitality Group. Thanks for showing us this great dish, which the crew will eat immediately. Yes. Thank, thanks so much. And thank happy you. Year again. Thank you.